Okay, so I did something kind of crazy. I bought an R5. Here is said R5. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't need this camera, but I somehow convinced myself that since I'm becoming a full-time professional photographer that I needed a more pro camera and also that I needed the extra resolution for all the stage photography that I'm gonna be doing. So the camera came this week and granted like I was pretty excited to get it and use it. And my initial impressions are that it feels very similar to the R6 in terms of use. And actually the images look pretty similar in terms of quality. Of course you can see that extra resolution, but I'm not like blown away. I thought that the image quality on the R6 was really fantastic, and I feel the same way about the R5. Uh, of course, I need to test it out more. I only have had it for a couple of days, but as of now, the cameras are really comparable, and I'm like, do I even need the R5? The camera does feel a little bit more rugged, a little bit more professional. The grip's a little bit deeper. It's a little bit heavier. It feels more pro. Um, I do like having the top screen. I like having the mode dial. It's really easy to switch between photo and video. It's a lot faster than having to turn the dial on the R6. Not that that's really slow, but it just is faster. Also, one big thing that I've noticed is over the past couple of days shooting video with the R5 in 4K, it does not overheat as fast as the R6, which is a big surprise to me, but it just hasn't been overheating. Usually the R6 will start to overheat within like 40 minutes of shooting 4K, 24 but today I was shooting for like two hours uh, in 4k 24 with the r5 and didn't get any overheating issues at all so that's pretty cool hopefully that stays like that so you're probably thinking this I'm thinking this I have way too much camera gear I really need to sell some stuff um, I'm just like hoarding at this point I think I might sell one of my r6s now that I have the r5 I also want to sell my ef glass been toying with the idea of holding on to it or selling it. I think I'm just going to sell my EF glass. I have a, the 50, the 135, and the 24. I recently switched to RF glass, so I've been shooting with the 24 to 70 2.8, the 50 1.2 RF, which is oh my god, my best purchase by far this year. And then the 7200 2.8 RF. With those three lenses, I can accomplish like pretty much everything that I need to. And I definitely don't need like three cameras. So I just need to like consolidate, <laughs> sell the EF glass. I've been toying with the idea of selling the C70, but I'm not sure if I really want to do that because sometimes I need it. And when I need it, I'm so happy to have it. I have thought about selling the C70 and maybe eventually going for the R3, uh, which would sort of fulfill that video uh, function that the C70 fulfills for me, but also be a hybrid camera since I shoot a lot of stills. Not sure where I'm landing on that because I do love the C70. This is a good problem to have. I don't want to be complaining about having too much gear. It's just I've been able to invest in my business over the past couple of years because I've had a full-time job and I've also been making money from photography. So I've basically just been putting the money I've made from photography back into my photography business. Um, it's been really great to be able to invest in my business over the past couple of years in that way. I feel very lucky to have been able to do that. That's why I'm able to do that. But I don't want to just be hoarding gear. I don't want to have so much gear. So I definitely need to offload some things. So I'm looking for a happy home for some of my gear. If you are interested in buying new camera gear or slightly used camera gear, all my gear is well taken care of message me on Instagram, maybe I'll sell you some gear. In other news, Eric Floberg just put out his preset pack and holy crap, it's so good. It's very good. I'm very happy with it. I bought it on the launch day because I couldn't resist even though I always tell myself I'm never buying presets again. These are really good. I've been sort of in this preset crisis because I have a friend who's also a photographer and she like, <laughs> was like, why are you putting grain on your images? Why are you using presets? And it sort of messed with my head. And then I realized that, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Why am I putting grain on these images? What presets am I using? I try to make my own presets because people have been asking me for presets. I just got really stressed because I suddenly was like floundering and like, I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in with my color grading and like, what I wanted to do. I was just so unsure. Do I stick with the cameras 
built-in profile with the camera's colors? Is adding grain bad? I had all of these questions, all of these questions. So I've been sort of grappling with this uneasiness about photo editing and what I want my work to look like. But I've sort of landed on, I like the idea of film. I like that sort of filmic look. I do like some grain in the images. And I like being able to start with a really clean, beautiful image that I get out of my R6 or my R5 with the RF lenses, which are like incredible images, but then being able to modify them from there to give them character, to give them life, to get them color, personality. I really love these Eric Floberg presets, the 606. I just started using them literally today, but they seem to work really well across a variety of images and they just look so good. Um, it's very simple and easy. He gives you like three presets in the pack and that's all you have to choose from. It's not overwhelming. It's just very well done. People ask me all the time when I'm gonna sell my presets. I don't have any. So first of all, I would need to build them, but Eric's release is just so inspiring because like if I'm gonna make presets, I want them to be done as well as he did them. So it's gonna take some time. I just, I definitely don't wanna put something out there that I'm not 100% like satisfied with because I have bought so many presets, spent so much money on presets that I just don't use because they're unusable, because they're not good. Um, that happens too often, you know, too, too often people just make presets without putting in the time or the effort to do it right. And I don't wanna be one of those people. So probably won't see presets from me for a while, but hopefully when you do, it'll be worth it. Okay, so there you go. Those are my thoughts. Um, I do have some real videos in the pipeline coming to you soon, but uh, thanks for watching this sort of rambly update and I hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you soon. Bye. Love is free.